So, today I have something special. I'm gonna play probably the best Mewtwo. Now hold on, you think Vadi is the best Mewtwo, but Vadi even confessed himself that he doesn't know all the stuff about Mewtwo. And I'm gonna play Unbeer, you probably know him, the most tech-heavy Mewtwo. He knows all the shenanigans, footstool stuff, and I have no idea what else. <laughs> but we are gonna find out because he's gonna coach me. Please enjoy this coaching session. Don't be nervous, he's so nice. Yeah, he's super nice, that's true. So, here he is. Hi. Hello. So yeah, we've we... actually played before. We did? Yeah. When? Um, viewer battles, I think. Oh! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you played Pokemon training? Oh my god, you remember that? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you fucked me up pretty bad back then. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything specific you want to work on for this session? Probably neutral. Well, I'll do my best to break it down for you. One thing to keep in mind is that neutral is very different in the Mewtwo matchup than in every other matchup. But it kind of boils down to the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I throw Shadow Ball and see how you react. Yeah. Oh, you shield and let go. I punish. If I just throw a ton, a ton, <laughs> a ton of these, I just see what you're going to do. And based on your reaction, I formulate my punish. If you react by parrying, well, then I'm going to bait out a out of parry option because people tend to do aggressive options out of parry. If you go for shield, uh, I'm going to look for a spot dodge, a roll, or if you keep shielding and punish accordingly. So, there's... Neutral is very deep with me too. It's pretty complex, so it's definitely gonna take some time. Okay. We could just play for a bit, All <laughs> and right. I'll give you some feedback. Yeah. Oh, you knew I was gonna shark, huh? Me too players love being aggressive off ledge. Yeah, so true, that's so me. I've seen you play, um, not base sometime, but I'm... Pretty tough <laughs> at the matchup myself. Said, the players love being aggressive. <laughs> yeah, you just won a tournament, right? Yeah, I did. In That's winners nice. too, right? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> That's insane, and Perfect. only Mewtwo. Do you play Sheik too in tournaments? Um, I haven't pulled out the Sheik yet, uh, but I'm practicing. Do you use it as like or a Mewtwo. counter pick or? I haven't decided yet. How do you deal, deal with um, the... Wait, this one. I wanna see. You just jump, right? Yeah, just <laughs> mix up the jump timing. Oh. Okay. You've just recently started um, coaching, right? Mm, no, I've been coaching for a bit, actually. Really? I just didn't have it in my bio until pretty recently. Ah, okay. The first thing I noticed, you tend to go really aggressive mm -hmm. off of the ledge. Play You're just gonna point that out and see uh, how you adapt. Do you want to adapt this? Okay. Oh, that was a good back air to call out the jump. Oh! <laughs> I think my favorite thing about Mewtwo is scaring people. Mm. Kind of rush you down, even though it's not a rush down character. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yep, makes sense. A quick pointer, something I notice is you tend to skip ledge a mm -hmm. lot when I'm center stage, which is a good option. But you need to keep your options open, just try to see and react to my option. So basically don't and spam back air, wait for you to do something and then react to it? Yeah, yeah. I throw a shadow ball and you do this, yeah. you get hit. Yeah. But what you can do instead is this, reflect it back. Or you can do this, air dodge. You want to keep your options open mm -hmm. and not go for flow charge, but play more reactionary based on what I am doing as the opponent. Okay. I want to use jump into that. <laughs> <laughs> I know Vadi likes to uh, wait for jumps and then punish the jumps. Yes, I do that a oh, lot. Okay. My whole game plan is basically jump call outs like that. Like non-committal jump call-ups with Shadow Ball or Nair. Mm -hmm. 
There is kind of committal though. I usually just play on a uh, small battlefield, so I'm. I have no idea Why about any of these stages. We, we can play a small battlefield if you want to. No, it's fine. I uh, will go to my first tournament soon. Have to get used to them now. True. I think this is the first time you're in disadvantage. <laughs> in this game, at least. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think so. Almost. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're kind of just running into a lot of my options. You either do one of two things. You run up and it seems like you're waiting for me to do something. Or you're uh, being aggressive. That's not gonna work with me too. at a higher level, mm -hmm. of course. At a lower level, it will definitely work out. I used to be just like you. Mewtwo's neutral is almost entirely based on bait and punish. The way I like to describe Mewtwo's neutral with Shadow Ball is um, rock, paper, scissors. I throw a Shadow Ball, you can shield, you can jump, or you can spot dodge. Or in theory, I guess you could roll through it as well. They shield, I can punish if they keep shielding. If they spot dodge, well, I cover the end lag of the spot dodge, etc. That's how neutral works uh, in principle in most matchups. Obviously, it doesn't work like that in every matchup. You can do downers to me, by the way, like 60. Okay, just hold in. <laughs> that, oh. that hit me. I was. Correct the eye as well. Maybe? No. <laughs> you were just waiting for that. <laughs> yeah. People are scared of a fully charged Shadow Ball when they're at 140 because they're gonna die. <laughs> that, uh, that was greedy of me. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't rolled her. <laughs> do you have any habits? Do I have any habits? Yeah. Yes, I do. Like oh. Jumping? You know, well, my habits depends on the matchup. For example, versus um, Richter, I teleport a lot and jump a lot from ledge because of the character conditions me to do that. Yeah, I, I also jump a lot. That looked like you were DIing in, honestly. It's not true at that percent. It's true at like 20%. Oh. No, 40%. I didn't know that. Okay. It got changed. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Nice advantage. Thank you. You're good at getting grabs. Yeah, I love grabbing. That means you know when your opponents are gonna shield. If you make your opponents scared to shield, that, that means you can mash on them. I want you to try to approach me safely. I try to fair and then down to That was good. That sequence was good because you space that four air so I can shield grab you. And in addition, you use down tilt and four air down tilt is like frame nine. Uh, like your opponent can't really do anything unless they have a fast out of shield option and you spaced it so well. Another uh, approach I like is running up and then forward tilting. Mm, yeah, I think that's... By the way, do you want to learn a tech? Yeah. Have you learned, you know, um, pivot, oh, reverse round rush? Because what you're doing is this, mm -hmm. right? Dash F tilt. Yeah. What you can do is this. Okay, so you dash a little further. You dash, mm -hmm. and then you do a turnaround, this, oh. and you cancel the turnaround animation with F tilt. That's so easy. I have no, I had no idea that's how it works. Okay. It's basically a better dash attack. Yeah. Let's say my opponent has a lead and I have to approach. Yeah. Shadow ball. Yeah. <laughs> no shadow ball, and then you run at them, or. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically. Okay. And what 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 you should be doing is throwing shadow ball, run at them, but don't go for an immediate attack because or grab because they're probably gonna be shielding, spot dodging, or jumping. What you need to do is the conditioning part I was talking about earlier. So if you if I throw a shadow ball, mm -hmm. 
I throw this, this. I notice that you're just shielding. Yeah. You're not doing an, a defensive option after the shield. You're mm -hmm. just shielding and letting go. Do you uh, sometimes just throw Shadow Ball and try to grab them? Yes, but um, that's in rare cases because try doing that to me now. Throw Shadow Ball and grab. Right. Th that option just beats that. So most people are going to shield the first time. Mm -hmm. But then if you keep grabbing them, obviously they're going to catch on. And this match is running out. So I'm just going to... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's go, yeah. Oh, no, you got the stock. Yeah. Oh my god. I hate whenever that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so many um, attacks just beat out Shadow Ball for some reason. It'll be rare to find an attack that beats out a fully charged Shadow Ball. I am gonna switch character. Okay. Uh, so you can practice on actually utilizing Shadow Ball in neutral. Yeah, basically I throw it and then I run at them. <laughs> yeah. 